the Loki season 2 premiere introduced us to a new character named X5, aka Brad Wolf. He's a hunter who seems to be against everything Mobius, Loki, Hunter B-15, and the rest of the team stand for. He has a special connection with General Dox, and joins her on a mission to find Sylvie. But then he abandoned his mission and began living in the Divine Timeline, as Brad Wolf. Today, in this video, we're going to talk about the MCU and the comic origins of Hunter X5, aka Brad Wolf, and whether he'll transform into the deadly serial killer Zaniac, in Loki Season 2. So without wasting any time, let's get get started. While on a mission to find Sylvie, to find out what happened at the end of time, Hunter X5 became mutinous and assumed the identity of Brad Wolf. He becomes a movie star and has a life of his own in Insecrae Timeline, something very similar happens in Marvel Comics. In the comics, he is a rogue TVA agent becomes an actor named Brad Wolf, and while working on the movie Zaniac, Brad Wolf becomes possessed by an evil entity, that turns him into a serial killer. Wolf transforms into a monster, and began bringing his film story to life by killing several women. In the comics, Brad Wolf became possessed while filming the sequel to the movie Zaniac, later, after Worf was killed, it was revealed that the Zaniac were actually a parasitic swarm of extra-dimensional beings, from an empire controlled by Dorn Mamu. Over time, these creatures possess humans and turn them into serial killers. What's certain is that he's not possessed yet in the Marvel Universe, maybe in the future we'll see him as a possessed character fighting Loki and Mobius, but in the second episode, Brad mentioned that he'll be starting work on the sequel, so we'll get a chance to see Zaniac in action as well. He gave the locations of Loki and Morbius, to Sylvie and later to Dox's team. He represents those who support those who resist systemic change, in institutions like TVA, he attacks Loki with words and calls him a villain. From the first episode, we see that he is very close to General Dox, the militant leader of the Minutemen, who decides to limit the multiverse against Judge Gamble's orders. In the premiere, the two can be seen touching foreheads, it seems more like a team bond than any other form of intimacy, Dox tells X5 that even if the timekeeper is an imposter, the mission is still important, but maybe Dox let him go because of their good relationship. Or maybe, after seeing Sylvie living her life peacefully, he also developed a desire to live his own life, and then gave up on his mission and transferred to the sacred timeline, Mobius and Loki think he abandoned his mission, to live on the sacred timeline as actor Brad Wolf, star of the elemental thriller Zaniac. Live action actor Brad Wolf, doesn't appear to be violent towards anyone. However, as Mobius and Loki point out, he's still not a very good person. For the most part, Brad Wolf seems to be a grumpy coward. He frustrated people with his verbal cruelty. When that doesn't work, he complains, sulks, and points out to Mobius that there's more to Dox's plan than expected. We may not see a live-action version of Zaniac, in Loki Season 2, but there's a good chance Zaniac will appear in the show's post-credits scene. So what are your thoughts this? Are you excited for Episode 3? Let me know in the comments, and watch this video to see, the tragic and sad story of Loki, and make sure to subscribe nowhere official and press the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. See you till next time.